Since the dawn of time, architects have tried to turn a humble planet into a hell. Buildings that look like slides, stairs that no right-minded person could ever use, always a focus on the feeling, rather than whether you can actually walk down them. Windows that look like... Oh wait, that's actually pretty good. But today is the day where we shall rise up. Today is the day the architects get sent to hell. Yes, hello fellow engineers. Welcome to Hell Architect Prologue. Now, I honestly cannot believe some engineers come along and created a game where we get to burn architects in hell. What a legend. And quickly, just a thank you to the developer for the key. Very kind. All right, let's use our trusty mouse. <laughs> I love that. A little uh, devil hand. Let's, uh, let's head into sandbox. Oh, the loading screen are architects falling into hell absolutely love it i don't even want to press space i just want to keep watching them all right so we've got a countdown here and that's when our next architect arrives so these are our four initial architects we've got nero abel 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 he's definitely not abel he's an architect matthew matthew that's not an architect's name and eve so the first thing we're going to do is get our architects digging we can select all of these ready for digging i'm going to head in that direction hang on what's all this you're meant to be in hell there's no safety in hell. Why are you wearing hard hats? I don't know why you're not helping, Abel. All right, so I've told them to dig all the way along and then dig up. I am interested to see how they're going to dig up. There you go, there you go. Right, so they're all digging, getting us some dirt. Now we can head into the build. You can see all the, all the lovely types of things we can do with our architects. So we've got the basic sort of things that you'd expect in hell. Torches, basic, food. Now if we have a look and drink, we got a simple toilet which produces poo. A water squeeze. I'm not, I don't know what's going to be squeeze. I don't know what it produces. Leaves? It makes leaves. So let's go ahead and we're, we shall make a metal bucket. Right, so we've got our metal bucket. That allows people to drink. But there's no, there's no resources to make drinking water. He's just come over and been like, oh, I'm thirsty. I'm going back to work then. So I think we need our latrine. Ah, oh, yes, as expected, they're only architects. They do not know how to dig up. So we're going to have to build a ladder. And, oh, he's got, <laughs> he's got a shovel on a stick. That's actually quite clever. No, it's not clever. It's not clever. They're architects. They're architects, remember. Right, so hopefully that will allow them to sort of be up there. And then I'll also head over to these resources as well. I feel like this person's going to be stuck. Oh no, there's two people up there. It's Matthew and Eve. Oh god, what's going to happen to Eve? Ready? This is proper architect thinking. Ready? Ready? As soon as that lump of coal goes, I assume she's going to go as well. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> and now Matthew's on his own. Alright, so our toilet's complete. We still don't have drinking water. I think for the drinking water one, we actually need the water squeezer, which we can now create. But we can't build this water purifier. If you look here, we need we need a hundred suffering. Now at the moment, our suffering is zero. Because obviously everyone's just loving life. They're just happy, digging. Now if we do our job, that's going to go easy on us. No, that is not the case. That is not the case. Because this hallway is going to be a torturous hallway. And I'm going to start off with the basic one. The... That was meant to be Iron Maiden. No. No, okay. So firstly, an Iron Maiden will go in this hallway. One of you come and build it. Yes, that's right. Come on, Eve. Yeah, but obviously, we need more suffering than that. Only one person can suffer at once. We'll also build the Bath of Kings. We'll put it right next to it. All right, good work, Eve. And as you did such a good job, I'm going to reward you with going in the Iron Maiden. Oh, wow. She, she's suffering now. All right, I might just keep sending Matthew up on a mining mission. All right, so Eve, although she sounds like she's not having a good time, uh, she's all, she's well in the green. Look how happy she is. She's so happy. Let's get a bell into there. You know that feeling when you jump to a bath that's too hot? Yeah, that's what's happening here. So now our suffering is going up pretty well. We need to get the next torch device, the furnace. We need 100 suffering. We're on 89 currently, so a little bit more suffering. And we should be able to afford it. There you go, 100 exactly. So we will build this. Uh, there's not even enough room. Okay, we're going to have to go out in the open over here. Ooh, and we've got a new person. Who are you? Adrian. That's a proper architect's name. I'm sorry if any of you watching are called Adrian, but uh, <laughs> you should have known better. All right, so he's new and he's got straight to work, which is very, very commendable. And for that, I'm going to put you in this lovely furnace. This... <laughs> oh, how much suffering does this produce? 11 suffering. Nice. All right, how's Eve getting on? She's still, she's still loving life, to be fair. All right, so once Matthew's done there, I'm going to send him straight over here. Mine all those. Matthew is our resident miner, I've decided. Because I don't, I don't think he meant to be an architect. He sort of accidentally fell in it. He tried to be an engineer, but his parents just forced him into the sin that is architecture. 
But yeah, he should dig over here. I'm gonna I'm gonna plan out all this. So dig that, dig that. I'm gonna make him dig those. Now we need to get him up here. There's there is a lot up there. So maybe if we build that. Then once he's dug some of that, we'll start building a ladder up. Alright, so meanwhile, if we look at our resource at the top, dirt's pretty good. Dirt is essential for building. So all these things we build pretty much starts from dirt. As you would expect. So obviously if we want food. We are going to want food at some point. So let's say we want to build our flesh farm. This produces delicious stale meat. And of course the main ingredient in that is dirt. 50 dirt to be exact. I'm going to make some room over here. I'm going to say dig all of that out. And Eve, I think I think you've done your time for now. I'll, I'll let you get out of there. Because what I want you to do. Wait, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, she's going She's going to go dig. She's good. Straight to work. Good old Eve. But I am a little bit worried about our... Uh, got no ingredients, no food, and no drink. So we can actually assign people to these things. So this one, our water squeezer. We can actually add someone in there. Let's let's go grab Eve. All right, so Eve is coming over here into our toilet. Our latrine. And uh, she... <laughs> she's reading the Daily Sin there. Looking at all the architecture news. And nice. Now we have 15 excrements. So we can now assign Eve to this one. This is the water squeezer. There you go. She's, she's over here now. And she's turned that on. And you can see our ingredients here are going down. Our excrements are going down. They're literally squeezing their water out of... <laughs> well, yeah. It's only what architects deserve. Uh, but now, Eve, you thirsty? She's not that thirsty. She's still in the green. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna make her drink. Drink up. Yum, yum. Oh, she is lapping it up. And there you go. Now her drinking is in the dark green. You gross. You are gross. All right, so I'm actually gonna lower the floor over here. This will be a little food production area, I think. In the meantime, Bell, how are you getting on? Right, I think I'll let you get out of there for now. We've got we've got a lot of suffering. Definitely not enough. But uh, and Adrian, our new guy, he's doing fine. He's a little bit tired. So we do have the ability to give our architects somewhere to rest. So we had to rest here. We've got the paper box or a bed. Now, I'm not an absolute monster. I do have some moral values. So I'm going to go ahead and build a paper box. I'm going to make them a little a little bunk house. So you go, Nero's building our ladder all the way up to there. And now he can build the first bed. There you go, DIY bed. Lovely. Uh, but now we have our space over here. And we can start building our first food area. So if we head in food, we'll build our flesh farm, which produces meat. And next to that, a cauldron, which turns the meat into food. And then in order to serve the food, we need a trough. We can also build a mushroom farm, because mushrooms are the most disgusting food on the planet. So why wouldn't they be in hell? Oh, there you go. So I've got Eve. She's the cook. You can tell. <laughs> you can tell it's going to be good just by her face. <laughs> trying not to gag. Uh, she's made some smelly goop and she's just serving herself. Lovely. Right, this dude needs a sleep. So we'll send him to test the bed. Oh no, is someone already in there? So who's already in there? Abel! Damn you. Right, we're going to have to build another bed. It's only fair. It's only fair. You okay, build that. He, he said he's too tired to build a bed. <laughs> right, I think three DIY beds. That's quite a cool little bunkhouse. I'm quite jealous of that, if I'm honest. Now, what the hell is going on? Down? There's not enough suffering going on. Get in there. And Eve, I know you want to be the chef, but get back in there, please. How's our minor Matthew coming on? He's getting there. He is getting there. Still a way to go to up at that level, though. Right, there you go. He's got, he's got a lot of mining to do. So we'll leave him to it. Ah, but he can, can also build the ladder. So we'll quickly build that. And then we'll come see how he's getting on in a bit. Meanwhile, you need to go in there. Go suffer. Uh, food is pretty low, so I'm going to send you to go and cook. All right, so you, Bob, I think you're new here. Your first job is going to be poo. I said, Bob, you better suffer. You better suffer on the toilet. All right, now, Bob, you're going to turn that poo into the beautiful drinking water. All right, nice. I think, I think hell is going pretty well. I'm going to try and add to my kitchen. We can add a food kitchen and then a food truck as well. So I think that'll just allow people to cook and eat pretty quickly. Oh god, I've actually eaten out of something that looks pretty similar to that. Look at that Barbie. Look at the posters. Uh, but old Matthew up here, how's he getting on? I'm surprised he's not tired yet. Oh yeah, he needs a toilet. He needs a toilet real bad. I wonder, should I do a rescue mission to get him back? And by rescue mission, I mean just build another ladder. So I assume I can just do that. Then he should be able to get back. But things are going well in hell. So I'm gonna I'm gonna fast forward. Oh, can you hear that? All the suffering noises get <laughs> get hamsterfied. I I hate to think how they recorded these sound effects. Do you think they literally got hamsters and like tickled their feet with feathers and stuff? Uh, I think it might be time to grab some people and go on a bit more of a mining mission. I think we should take out I think we should take out all of that and start heading down. Oh, and it's Matthew back at it. He came all the way back. You didn't finish your job up here, Matt. Eve's on it, is she? Sweet. Right, I'm going to build her a ladder so she can continue with this project. 
And I will make sure all this gets dug. But I think it's time to build a new suffering center. We can go for the freezer. I mean, it is hot down here. A bit worried this won't be too painful. All right, where is everyone? I need someone to come build the freezer. Good work, Eve. She's a good little builder, really. Ah, oh, lovely. Right now, who's going to come in here? Bob is on his way. That looks pretty cold. <laughs> Look at the snowman. <laughs> oh, he's bleed. Do snowmen's bleed? Oh, there you go. He's in there. Aircon on. Three suffering a pop. You can also upgrade these as well. I've just realized. So let's make our let's make our hot tub. Let's upgrade it. Oh, yes. And again. Oh, it's got spikes around the edge. That's when you know it's bad. And that's making three suffering now. Decent. What about our Iron Maiden? What if we upgrade that? So that's a normal one. Oh, even more spikes. And the final upgrade. Holy moly. All right, someone come test out on you. All right, everyone's getting real thirsty. All right, Belle, come make some water. That's it. Turning that juicy, juicy. You know what? Oh, you can even see it up the top. It's horrible. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Who's that? Christopher's helping. Oh my goodness. Who is in the new Iron Maiden? Monica. She's new. She sounds like a chimpanzee. But that's producing five suffering. Pretty nice. I want to see what happens if we upgrade the freezer. Ooh. Oh, there you go. The final upgrade has three aircon units. That's going to be cold. In the meantime, I feel like we really need to build some decorations. It's not really hell if you don't decorate it. I'll tell you what, we'll put a skull pillar in there. Nice. We'll put a chandelier down here above the uh, above the food area. I don't know I don't know how they build that, where they need a ladder up there. And it just ain't hell without a shelf. All right, I think these guys might need a ladder to go and build that. So if I do that. So this is what our furnace looks like. I'm going to upgrade it to the max. So this is step one. Oh, it's got a skull on the top now. And the max upgrade... Oh, we can't afford the max upgrade. We need 100 suffering. So thankfully, Monica has kindly volunteered to uh, head in there and get our suffering up. Just so we can upgrade and make more suffering. She's good like that. There you go. 101 sufferings. Oh, we need 300. Oh, God. You, you might be in there a while, Monica. I'll come back. I'll come back. And there's our fancy skull pillar. It's so fancy. Oh, and Eve is building our shelf. I'm glad you got a hard hat for that, Eve. Safety first. Oh, lovely. Now we've got a handy place to store our liquids. I'm not going to ask what they are. All right, suffering is flying. 287. We should be able to upgrade this very, very shortly. There you go. We can upgrade. Let's see. Holy moly. Look at the skulls on there. All right, so I've just realized all of these... All of these torch devices, you can actually see how much it produces all the time. And depending on who you put in there... It produces more. So so if you look at these traits, we get special bonuses if we get a sinner that has the fire trait and the small spaces trait. So I think they're people that hate fire and hate small spaces. So where are the traits? Traits, here we go. So Adrian, where is Adrian? He's, he's stuck. He did some digging and he's got stuck. Let's allow him to build his way out of there. Oh no, Matthew died. Our resident miner did not make it. Your sinner has lost their mind. However, you can turn them back from their way to limbo. Remember to take better care of your son. Oh, God. Oh, we also lost that guy as well. <laughs> okay, I need to I need to be a bit more wary of the mining missions. Because if you don't look after your employees, things do not go well. All right, let's get everyone out of suffering. You can all go sort yourselves out for a bit. You can have a sleep. You can drink poo. Whatever you want to do, guys. Today is a day off. I'm feeling generous. That's uh, so what they all decided to do. Build ladders. Okay. All right, I do, I do actually want to try and find the best people for these torch machines. So fire and small spaces. Let's have a look at our people. Have we got a fire? Yeah, Adrian, but Adrian's dead. I can buy... Oh, I can buy him back from Limbo. It's 100 suffering. Yeah, you are back, Adrian. All right, Adrian, you're coming this way. You're going into the furnace because I know that you love fire. Now let's see how much does it produce now. 13. 18. I can't read. That's... <laughs> it's so small. That's an eight, not a three. Okay, so that's way better by picking the right people. Say what, we might, need to, we might need to up our water production. I could say I've gone soft, but I'm going to build a water purifier and a drink dispenser. I've gone soft, people. I've gone soft. Right, we're producing some water now, so that's all good. And um, what about the Iron Maiden? D -d 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 uh, blood and small spaces. He doesn't like blood. So Eve could go in there. Oh, Ronald. I think he's new. His sin was lust. <laughs> this sinner empties his bladder 50% faster than others. That is a strange one. I'm also going to buy Matthew back because he was a good miner. Oh, but Ronald seems to have taken his place. He is mining the tits out of everything. Oh, there's Matthew. Look at him. He's just like, screw this hell stuff. I'm just here for the mining. What are all you guys doing? 
Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring all of our people back. They've just stopped for some reason. So get back, get back down it. So looking at the top, our food is pretty good. Our drink's not too bad. We're finally in the plus. We were on zero for quite a long time there. As that chandelier hasn't been built, I am gonna do a ladder like that. And I assume you can just get across and build that. Yes, nice. The floating ladder. Uh, is he now trapped? Or is he just lazy? I think he's now trapped. I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete that. <laughs> he just fell down. <laughs> oh, we can upgrade everything. I didn't realize. I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. Right, food is good, but drink definitely needs some work. So I'm actually going to upgrade the toilet. I don't know what an upgraded toilet would look like. Oh, it's a proper shack with a love heart and everything. Christopher's gone in. It's now occupied. That's wicked. Oh, and it made 25 excrement. That's pretty good. But there you go. I think our water crisis is averted. I want to try out the final torch machine, the dentist chair. It invites you to a delightful drilling without anesthesia. That's a hard word to say. We're actually going to have to dig out an area to put this in it's so big so this is going to be the dental area and then torture the drill i think this would probably be my like the bonus you'd get for my one because i hate dentists i've had many many dental injections and drills and stuff oh it's horrible it's horrible yeah, but let's find the perfect person for this who is the me there's no traits just everyone hates it i think all right so who wants to go in then i bet oh my god oh <laughs> it's horrible <laughs> Oh my goodness, right. We're, we're upgrading. 250 suffering. I don't know what upgraded. I think they just added a skull. <laughs> right, final upgrade. Oh yeah, skulls everywhere. That's just what you want when you walk into a dentist. All right, let's get the right people in all these then. Right, who's got a cold treat? You, Christopher. You go, you're go. you going in the freezer, Chris. All right, Matthew doesn't like small spaces, so he's just gone in there. Yeah, we need someone with the fire traits to go in there. So that's Luke. So you've gone in there, Luke boy. Oh no, that was Ronald. They look the same. That's Luke. Get in there, Luke. Right, let's upgrade our meat farms. So, so that's a normal meat farm. It's a bit slow. We've maxed it out. Oh god, look. Look at the nutrition and the mushroom farm. We upgrade that. Oh wow. Oh, it's proper getting heated in there with a heater tomatic. 2000. Let's deconstruct that ladder as well. It's annoying me. But I think we achieved today. I think if you're considering doing architecture yourself, consider what will happen to you once you die. Because whilst you might be having fun, just remember there is such thing as karma. And for all the curved and stupid designs you make, you will be punished. So peace, love and karma, and I'll catch you next time. Bye guys!